friends so today we are going to make a sun with a pattern in it okay so let's see the supplies that we need we need crayons we need markers we need paper we are just using half of this paper uh, we need okay, something to draw a circle with and depending on how big the paper is i'll choose which one okay so let me first cut the paper in half you're folding the paper like a book the right should uh, match the left side right and left side should match and the corners should match when all the things match you're going to press it down and then with the other hand you're going to make a nice crease when you open you find you will find a line and you are going to cut on the line okay so that's how you're going to cut you're going to save the other piece for later this is the paper you are going to use today okay i'm going to put this also away right now because we are going to use our whiteboard to uh if you don't have a whiteboard what you're going to do is you are going to take a scrap paper and then we are going to practice making some patterns so what are we learning today we are going to learn what a pattern is any guesses what a pattern is yes a pattern is a arrangement of shapes you can arrange shapes or lines or even colors in a particular order and uh, if you keep repeating it you get pattern okay so uh, what are the three things that you you can use for the, making a pattern color shape and line so today what we'll do is we will use all these three things to make a pattern okay uh, so let's see uh, maybe you can right now i don't have uh samples of patterns to show you guys but if you look around you'll be able to see patterns on fabrics maybe uh on paper or even uh, things that you buy so like this crayola can you see the pattern on this one here so just like that um you will be able to see patterns around you okay um so look around see if you can find some pattern maybe after you are, guys are done with the lesson okay so let's uh use color shape and line to make a pattern and using uh you're going to put the pattern on the sun that we are going to make okay so before we st uh, start with our lesson for today let's practice making some patterns so that we can easily you don't have to think of a pattern while we are making the uh our lesson okay so i'm going to take the paper divide the paper into i put two lines vertically and two lines horizontally and now i have uh, nine sections in each of the section you are going to make a different kind of pattern okay so uh, i'm going to make some patterns right now here uh if you want you can take a look at how uh the patterns that i'm making or while i'm doing making my patterns for you to see uh you can go ahead make your patterns and then when both of us when you are done you can um look uh, whether i have made the same patterns that you made okay or uh, you have made something new doesn't matter right so in case uh you need some ideas maybe you can first look at what i'm doing and then get some ideas and then start making your own or just like what i said okay so i'm using both lines and shapes to make the pattern um color we'll be uh, using color when we are uh doing the drawing uh when the making the 
um, final project okay right now we are not using color we are just using lines and shapes to make the pattern so go ahead make the pattern using lines and shapes Sometimes you may know a thousand patterns to make, but sometimes when you're doing something, nothing comes to your mind. Maybe I'll make a shape now. It's a free form shape or organic shape. That's what we call it. Organic shapes are shapes that um, is, is not a geometric shape that you find in nature, okay? Then maybe an organic shape now. No, in organic shape or a geometric shape. In smaller classes, you would have made uh, patterns with letters, right? A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, things like that. So here we are making it with shape scent. Uh, lines So learning patterns is important because when we are drawing a background or something or when you are drawing something if you want to uh, make a like add something to your drawing like if you're drawing a person and or a, a person's uh, dress you want to add a pattern if you know a few patterns uh, well then it will be easy for you to go ahead make those patterns right or suppose you are drawing the background for something background wall then you need some pattern and then if you know always it is good so Pattern making is, learning is so important. So this is not a competition. You don't have to <laughs> make the patterns as fast as I made. You can take your time and do it. Okay. So uh, if I'm, you are not done, still you can pause the video, finish your patterns and then take a look. So now if you have made a different kind of patterns, like nine different kinds, now you know, you can take a look at what I've made. Now you have 18 patterns, right? So. Uh, that's the idea now what we are going to do next is um, I hope you learned at least one or two patterns new from me <laughs> so now what we are going to do next is we are going to draw a Sun like I said in the beginning you would have seen our final picture in the beginning right so uh, let's see how we are going to do that and then um, I hope I'll remember all these patterns because it's a whiteboard. I, but because we practiced making those, I hope I remember it. I, I'm sure I'll remember. As the more you like practice, oh, sorry. You will remember those things, right? So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a circle. You can make uh, take the circle that fits on the paper so let's see this would be a good circle or maybe this one because at least you should have two finger space on the side this side will have more space okay so there is two finger space or you can use even a smaller one let me see if I have a smaller one I collect all these circle lids you want to see how many different circles I have here. 
so that each time um, when we are doing a lesson, I have a different size circle. See, <laughs> that's a lot of circles. You'll be thinking, what is this? Is Mrs. J a hoarder? See, but sometimes I don't have to go in search of these things when I am doing. So I have a box full of lids. So I'm just going to take one that will be the best size for today. I think I'm going to use this one. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what you do is first thing. Oh, you need to first practice do this, right? So I'm going to. Mm, so you are going to just make a uh, sun, just like how we usually do, right? And then. Um, next we need to make the rays okay so I'm going to divide the Sun so one line going up one down like that one on the side one on the right and one on the left then one in between and one in between these two now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the rays. So this is going to be the guidelines. Okay, you can make the rays. I'm going to show you different ways you can make the rays. One way is this. This will look like that rays is cut off from that part. This also. Can you see? Should I have made one more one? Oh, I should have made these two. And so we are just making again skipping. Okay, this is a ray. This one we left. This one is a ray. This one we are going to leave. This one is a ray. This one we are going to leave. It looks more like a fan. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So then that can be one way you uh, you can make the race let me show you guys another way so just only the lines would be there let me erase it you can make the race making a c oh this one will look like it is cutting off And then I'm going to make another curvy line connected. It is, it's not a straight line. We are curving it like a little bit and then connecting it. I think I liked this one better than the other one. Okay, so that is another way you can draw the sun. Now, let me... So I'll show you a few ways and then you can decide which one you're going to choose, okay? Or you can try a new one. So we will divide the circle like that. One line up, one line down, one to the left, one to the right, and one in between these, one in between these, one in between these, one in between these, right? Now, Let's think of another way you can draw the, I'm going to draw lines like that, like this. Can you see? I'm skipping this one. Skipping this one. Skipping this. Okay, maybe in between you can make so in these lines you can make put another kind of rays got it then let's think of another one i'm just coming up with different 
maybe you should also come up with some type of race that we can make. Try a few different ones your own and then if you don't, even if you don't like the ones that you made, you can copy one from mine. But if you like some that you made, then you will use that uh, for making the lesson. And only thing that you need to do is these rays are not going to be super skinny. The reason is if it is skinny, we are going to put patterns inside the rays. So there won't be space for the patterns to go. Okay, so don't make it like super skinny. But see what I'm doing. This one is a simple one. I'm going to turn this into a rectangle. Okay. So that is another way. Then... Try to put these in the middle, so that way the rays will be uh, properly in the, like, equally distanced. Okay, the next one, what I'm going to do is the normal one that we are all seeing, like a V. So this one, this line is going to be in the middle. So very common one that we all have seen, right? So this one. If you're in a mood to make something simple, go ahead, make the simplest one. Okay. So this is also like a uh, V, but I'm just making like the rays like this. To make it look like the sun is really hot. It's like a V, but I'm just using uh, like zigzag lines or spiky lines. I don't know the name for this type of line. Okay, so I think I have shown you guys enough uh, ways to draw the sun, right? Now what we're going to do next is we are going to draw a uh, sun with uh, eyes and mouth. It's like a cartoonish sun. We want to make this fellow look interesting, right? So I'm going to draw uh, so the eyes will go here then so suppose we are drawing the eyes sunglasses maybe you can draw that I'll uh, show you guys how to make a few ways uh, you can make eyes or you can make your own eyes but this is for those of you who needs uh, some ideas so let's see what the simplest so i'll make maybe show six eyes six maybe so a oval and oval or oval and then that two eyes like that maybe eyelashes and iris three um maybe you can so always leave a white spot so that it will look like the the light is reflecting uh should we draw a sleepy fellow maybe If you want, you can add eyebrows also, okay? Maybe you can have both eyes closed. Maybe you can have one eye closed and one eye open. 
okay so i showed you guys a few ways to draw the eyes now let me show you uh, the mouth uh, no, the nose you are going to use only like the simplest nose that you can make it can be a upside down u or you can make it like this or maybe like that so three different ways okay then for the mouth maybe i'll have more options for the mouth maybe a goofy mouth with teeth sticking out maybe maybe <laughs> a mouth with one or two teeth missing that's not enough space for them so maybe i'll change this into mouth where you can see the tongue maybe a simple one like that or you can turn that into like draw the teeth okay. open mouth one with tongue sticking out okay so hope you guys liked some of this or you can as i said you can use one of your own okay so what we're going to do next is we are going to draw the sun on the paper so now let's take the paper and draw the sun so what you're going to do is uh you're going to draw whatever sun uh you liked okay so pick one of that i may not be drawing the one that i showed on the paper uh, on um on the paper that you liked it may be a different one so what you can do is you can um go to that part where i'm showing the uh, how to draw that particular sun and then draw along with me okay so let's start with the sun and then you can come back i would be just finishing up my sun only thing is find a circle that will be right size um i'm i found this one i think that is a good size and i'm going to put it right in the middle i'm going to trace that with a marker itself because that part is going to stay the same but the guidelines i'm going to i'll be erasing that later so the one that is right running right through the top in the middle and then one here one on the left one on the right then one in between these two 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 it's like a simple sun that we made just now right now keeping this as our guideline you are going to draw the um the rays okay so let me try my rays first so you can either draw the rays with the pencil first and then uh erase or uh, trace over with the marker maybe this time some of the rays are going this way some are going that way okay go ahead uh start drawing the so see what i'm doing i'm drawing the rays around um the lines that we created okay so i'm done with the lines i'm going to trace all the lines with the marker except for the guidelines i'm going to erase the guidelines the guidelines or was just to uh, help you find where to put the rays okay now i'm going to draw the trace the rays with the black marker okay
Guys, are you back? So next, what we are going to do is we are going to erase up all the pencil lines. Okay. Because we did this with the pencil. Now we don't want to see all the pencil lines. Okay, pencil lines. And then, okay, we are going to write our name, which we forgot, which we keep forgetting each, every week, right? So I'm going to write my name on the bottom right corner. Your grade, your room number. This is a pretend room number. You guys are going to write your yeah? room number. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, draw the, uh, the sun's eyes, nose and mouth. Okay, so should I make this fellows a little bit more goofy, I guess. How should his mouth look like? Um, okay, let him be happy, super happy. Should I draw the eyebrows? If you want, you can. Maybe I should have made this like a circle for the nose. Hmm. Yeah, that also works. Okay. So now this is how it will be because it I drew everything with the marker. Now there is no chance for me to go back and correct it, right? So I'm going to put the pencil, uh, the, what is it? The black marker away. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my warm colors because sun is a warm color thing we are just using warm colors to draw the patterns with so the warm colors that we are going to use is these three colors red yellow and orange okay so in each of the rays you are going to add a different type of I should have put the sun side this way with the eyes here it's okay it's now like a portrait, right? Yeah. So I'm going to put a different um, pattern. Okay. So let's make the pattern. Different pattern. And we are going to use uh, colors also in a pattern. Okay. Start, try to stay within the line. You can use lines and shapes to you can use organic or inorganic shape here. I'm using hearts, which is not a geometric shape, but it is a, you can call it an inorganic shape. I'm putting some dots in there. Maybe I will color the hearts. Some I'm going to leave it like that. Next color is yellow again because it's a pattern that you're making. Next, should I use a line or a shape? 
maybe another line maybe but see i'm using the next color because i'm keeping a pattern so if you just wanted to make um the sun with two warm colors for the rays you could have done that also okay so you could have made a pattern with just two colors because i started with three i'm sticking to three Try to stay within the lines. See what I'm doing? I'm like going outside the lines. Maybe I'll be able to fix, have to fix that up later. Mm. I forgot all the lines that we tried. Or the patterns that we made. I shouldn't have erased the whiteboard, right? Hmm. Maybe it'll come to me. Come to me. The middle one, what color should it be? Because it's a pattern. I should have made one more race, I guess. Okay, now let this be orange. So on either side there is a pattern maybe that's it okay so now uh the sun's face we are going to color with the crayon because coloring bigger areas with a crayon is better so i'm going to put this away yellow for the outside part Side, I'm going to maybe I'll put yellow again and then I'll go over it with orange. Because the inside of the sun is always uh, warmer, right? I'm trying to make it look like it is blending. Now, each of the outside where we made this thing, I'm going to color in with the crayon lightly.
guys you are not in fourth grade remember that okay just put fourth i just realized why did i put four and you guys would be thinking are we really in fourth grade why did mrs j put four for us <laughs> so don't put four put two that is the grade you guys are in right okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to color the background you can either use purple or blue for the sky so i'm putting the crayon on the side and then coloring see that you don't color on the rays we don't want to get the blue on the rays these two are pretend numbers okay you don't have those numbers i'm just pretending there you guys please don't pretend now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the marker and outline this again because to make it more like a this thing so i'm using my thick marker i'm going to put this again press it down let me see Without this, I trace this. Did I leave the windows open again? See that you're standing on the line, okay? Don't. Don't make any new line now. Should I do something more to make this fellow a little bit more fancy? Maybe. We'll adding rays. Yeah, maybe. Let's try with red. I'm going to make squiggly lines come out like that so i'm like i want to make him more colorful Does he look like a clown? <laughs> I don't know what I made him look like. Does he look more like a clown now? I'm just adding some more patterns on this. I 
because I feel like something is missing. Okay, guys, I think that is enough. Otherwise, I'll go and do things on the sun, keep on adding stuff, and then you guys will be like, Mrs. J, can you please stop? <laughs> so I'm stopping right now. So what we are going to do is, um, you guys, as usual, you're going to take a picture of this and email me um, in the email ID that I put in the end of the video. So hope you guys had fun, just like I had making this crazy looking sun. Uh, so till we meet next week, Bye-bye.